Live. Remember, as you, this will start a fire. And it'll also give you calluses, but you know. Hey. It's heating up. Both are a good option. So. It's about to start. Uh, action. What? Whoa. No comments. That. No comments from bleep the. that out. You can no comments out. from the. Beep. Backstage. Peanut hey. gallery over here. What? Lovely assistant. Yeah. Shh. <laughs> Should be down over there. Uh, it's been two weeks. Yeah. Jeez. A little busy last weekend, so we did not get one of these videos out for you. But happy Flexi Friday. New York City. It's a party out there, people. Speaking of New York City. Party people. May. New York City it up. CrossFit New York City. What's that? What's Coming. it called? CrossFit New York City. Oh. Or not New York City, but CrossFit New York or something like that. We're coming for you, CrossFit New York. Apparently the CrossFit. biggest one of or the biggest CrossFit in the world. So, CrossFit gym. Pretty awesome. Pretty epic. Uh, let's not forget to mention that you and I twinned yesterday. Yeah, we did. At the gym. Boom. Wait, was that yesterday or the other day? No, that was yesterday. Were you there at the gym yesterday? Yes. Yeah, you were. Okay. I did not go to the gym today. Plus squats. And draw... Will continuous to remind me that I did not go today and make me feel ashamed and guilty, which I do not. What were you doing? What's up, baby? I'm not really ashamed. Shh. No, because I wasn't shamed. Can you technically shame somebody if they're not shamed? If they don't feel it? Yeah, I think you can. Publicly shaming somebody. Well, yeah, public shame. Whether, whether or not they feel it or not. Yeah. Like Jesus. Yeah. Which I'm sure he felt it, but he didn't act on that. He didn't feel it. Huh. <clears throat> But although he probably, I mean, he felt like he did because he was human. So yeah, he's human. Like, it's not like he sinned in it, though. It's not like it was like not trusting the Lord. Felt self. Self hate or anything like that. Hmm. Anyway. Hey, that, that was my water. What episode is this? Makes my throat kind of. Uh, it's 28. Episode 28. Episode 28. Up from 30. The big 3 0. And this week. We're talking about we'll start a new line. What are we talking about? We'll start a new series, video series, co coming at you with a video series. Some, some controversy. I don't know how many. False. I don't beliefs. know how many videos series this will be, but it'll be a bunch. Seven. Probably like seven. seven or so. Eight. Maybe five. Maybe seven. Maybe ten. Maybe more. Depending. Depends on your feedback. Depends how good this one is. But the first myth. What if we? What if we did like every other word? Uh, you said a word. That. Well, I'll we'll try it. Okay. It the myth it. is. That's like three words. Weight. Training. Will. Make. Boss. You. A. Body. Donor. Wait, that's, yeah. that's one word. Swool. You're supposed Get to. Flexi. No, body is. Bodybuilder. No, but two bodybuilder. Words. When you're in that context, bodybuilder is bodybuilder. Body no, it's still a two. That's anyway, a myth. that's a freaking myth. You pick up a weight dumbbell, even look at a dumbbell, it's gonna make you huge. Just like jacked. Yeah, walk just into the gym, hear people bulky. grunting. Yep, just motivation. Just You're like gonna become a bodybuilder. Six pack, abs, biceps, pecs, glutes. A huge muscle quads, definition, just massive muscles. Everywhere. Veins popping. Yep. Anyway, that's, that's the myth. That's a muscle. That's, that's, the that's myth. a muscle. That's a myth, yes. That's a myth. <laughs> well, it's also muscle, but. It is muscle. Anyway, what do we got? So, let's, but here's let's the thing. Break this down. Here's the bit. first disclaimer. Okay. This myth is sort of. Also is the proper <laughs> word. Also. Is also. Is also geared in also towards true. everybody. Yeah. But mostly focused towards women. Yeah. Because, and we say that because most men want to get bulky and big huge and huge biceps. and bodybuilder like. Most men, not, we're not, you know, there's a weird 2% in there that don't, whatever, yeah. weirdness why, I don't know, because dad bods, yeah. apparently, are in these days, 
We need to talk about dad bod. We should talk about dad bod. We need to we need to start a revolution of what the dad bod should be. X the dad bod. No, new dad. It will just be anyway. So this is this whole. We're pretty much gonna talk talk about how this myth. It's just a, why it's just a myth. How it got started, just like why. Yeah. And yeah. All that and what. Yeah. Yeah. But what we say is geared more towards. Women, not as much men, because men like to balk in bodybuilding and all those things. So, obviously, and it's easier for them, which is, anyway. Yeah. Let's, yeah, let's jump into it. Cool, jump right into it. Yeah, I'm So, tell me about, like, a, I don't know when it, maybe the myth started or, what, or like, time frame or whatever, but I think where this kind of myth may come from with, like, oh, lifting weights and getting in the gym and... You know, lifting heavy, um, particularly for women, and you know, shying away from it because they're looking at a lot of these, uh, you know, bodybuilding bodybuilding when that came on the scene, and like you've seen all these magazines and uh, fitness models and all that kind of thing, and and you're like, oh, well, they lift weights, and so obviously weights is gonna make me look like them, and I don't necessarily want to look like them, and all that kind of thing, and. You know, wanting to be skinny and kind of lean and all that kind of thing. Um, but um, the truth is, is, like, there's a very much so difference between uh, male and female, especially along the lines of testosterone. And testosterone is the thing that makes you, makes the muscles, like, grow bigger and, like, have those more of those gains. And so, like... We all know that Way easier for guys. men have a lot more testosterone Way than easier. women do. That's just how we were designed. There's nothing right or wrong uh, for either one. Like, for men to put on muscle, like, it becomes it's easier to do that. Uh, it still takes a lot of work. Like, you still have to be in the gym, lifting weights, eat right, all that kind of thing. And so if it's difficult and hard to do, it takes discipline for men to do it, it's going to take a lot a little bit harder even for uh, yeah. women to they like lose. get bulky and, and huge that a lot of women fear they're right. going to ha- you know do whatever and, and also, accidentally get big and bulky you know it's not a thing and also most people most bodybuilders most women bodybuilders not all of them you know obviously not everyone does this but a lot of them take testosterone um, enhancements and testosterone shots and different things to boost yep. your testosterone because, like Darrell said, that's what's building your muscle growth. Yeah. Which is making you bigger, which is making you bulkier. So all the muscle fibers can get bigger and bulkier and grow. So when you, when you look at, you know, the magazine and on the front covers, body, this woman, woman bodybuilder, that's not going to necessarily just happen to you because you're in the gym. Yeah. I, can, I can promise you that. Yeah, there's a lot of underlining there's things. There's a lot of things that are happening. I mean, their, their nutrition is insane. On. They're probably taking some sort of testosterone booster, injections, whatever. Plus, many other things. In the gym. I don't even all know about it because I've never become a woman bodybuilder. So, you know. There you go. There you go. So. Yeah, so that's kind of like some of the and, and also, underlining things. And also, kind of go along with that, too, is like, um, yeah, because... Because you think that women will get bulky because of lifting weights, just because this is kind of going more just like what you see, but just because somebody, just because you see or hear something, doesn't mean it's true. Right. I mean, say, even for guys on this one, like you see a bodybuilder, and you see, um, I don't know who's a, just insane. Anyway, I don't know. Steve Cook or... Yeah, but more like movie actors because people know those people. Uh, Chris Hem- Hemsworth. Yeah, Chris Hem- Hemsworth. And like all these movie actors are just the like... Rock or... Yeah, The Rock. And it's like, there is so much more going on than you think. They're probably training two to three hours a day, if not more. More, yeah. A day, six days a week. Nutrition is insane. I read an article the other week about how this one trainer trains movie stars and the intensity that they go through to get them, if they're depending what their character is, if the mm-hmm. character is shredded, shredded, the intensity that they go through is almost unhealthy. You know? Yeah, that's a lot so, unhealthy. So, just because you see 
something in a magazine about getting, because the same thing for women and for guys. Women is, oh, if I go to the gym, I'm going to get huge. The guys do it too. If I go to the gym, I'm going to get huge. Weights, or lift weights. Not go to the gym, gym. sorry. Yeah. Weight Listen, training. Weight training. I'm going to get huge. Guys think that too. If I start weight training, I'm going to get huge. Both are pretty unlikely. Guys, less unlikely if they actually put the work in. Right. But you can't just start weight training and expect to get huge if you're a guy. Like, that's not... Right. No. There's yeah. more to it than that. More to it. Program routine. Lot food, calories, everything. But, um, so... We kind of talk on the other some, side of that. Yeah, do we have some, like, pros and, like, some benefits of weight yeah. training kind of thing, right? Yeah, so kind of like the other side of... So, that's the myth... Kind of debunking the myth. This like. is debunking the myth and why women should weight train. Yeah. Um, and I have kind of a little section out of an article I was reading reading earlier. Um, and this is the Iron Tribe Fitness um, website, and you can find everything on there. There's a whole big article. This is just a little section out of it, and it says number one, metabolism. Um, as women age, they naturally lose muscle mass. This causes your metabolism to slow, which means you could start building up on unwanted fat. By the time you reach your 30s, weighted exercises are easy, are the easy solution to the problem. When you do weight-bearing exercises, you start reviving up your metabolism and keep burning for many hours after your workout. And this is said by Wayne Westcott, P, PhD director of fitness research and all that, all that jazz. Uh, basically saying the more, um, he didn't say this, but in another art article by a doctor saying that the more weight training you do, the more oxygen you use in your workout and after your workout, which causes your metabolism to go up and for you to lose fat mm -hmm. versus cardio, which cardio does, it melts fast as well, fat as well, mm -hmm. but only when you're on the treadmill. And then when you get off the treadmill, it's done. Yeah. That's it. And I think too, like, um, uh, oh, we talked about like, the more muscle you have in your body, the more calories you're gonna burn right. throughout the yes. day. Your, your yep. calorie, uh, whatever you call it, exponential or whatever. Um, so like, just, I mean, just the fact that fact alone is like I I think a good enough reason to like do weight training and build more muscle into your body because that that's gonna stick with you and then you you'll be able to just continually to burn more calories throughout the day. Yeah. And I will say that what we're talking about too is like about weight training boosting your metabolism. Like we're not saying that that's the thing like the one hundred percent like sure. do that your metabolism is gonna like go up through the roof, you know. Disclaimer. It, it's like it's gonna help, right? But it's not like that's the only thing. Like nutrition right. is always, so I think either the the or the best way to like lose weight and get your metabolism to to be at a healthy um, state. But weight training is also gonna like help spike that and help boost it in a way. And yeah, I think so it's like, even. It takes both, but like. We're just trying. We're just focusing more on the weight training side of it, but that's just like a little disclaimer that that's like, that's not the all end fix of your metabolism, right? Because everyone's different, and if you're gonna start somewhere, start nutrition, but weight training uh, is is definitely a must. So. Right, and even so, like weight training more so than cardio. Yeah, weight training is gonna you're gonna lose more, burn more fat in weight training than you will in cardio. And which is kind of another myth. In if itself. you can do weight training and cardio at the same time, that's even better. CrossFit, then there you go. Two birds with one stone. So, yeah, just a little nugget of truth there. Um, yeah. Anyway, what was I gonna say? Insert CrossFit ad here. Insert CrossFit. CrossFit. That's it. Oh, so the other thing with weight training is that, and this is <coughs> like kind of more the benefits of weight training is that. Especially as you're getting as you get older and for uh, older like seniors or whatnot like weight training is even more so important uh, Especially for like bone and joint health That's um, true. And so like a lot of times like 
And we might touch on this here in a later episode about <clears throat> swimming is like the best thing for your joints and whatnot, which is true. Like it's the best thing, like the less it doesn't have as much strain on your joints. It's very low, low impact and whatnot. But in order for your joints and just like a tree, you think about a tree like in Florida or whatever, there's high winds and like the palm trees, like they're super yeah. strong. How are they super strong? Because like they're designed and built to withstand a lot of wind, right? right? And if you take a maple tree or whatever and dig it up and root it in Florida where there's like 60 mile an hour winds, it probably won't, you know, last very long because it didn't have that constant like resistance and building the strength up that it needed, right? And so that, that's just the same with your joints and your ligaments and tendons bones. and bones. Like you need added your resistance. Heart to your body, you know, weight coming down on your body or, or, you know, whatever you're doing, like to, to bring that like kind of resistance and, and building those bones and ligaments joints stronger. And again, you want to make sure you start out slowly. Don't let's just like start lifting crazy amount of weight, like progress yourself right. at a, at a good rate that you need to go pushing yourself, challenging yourself, but also like, and that's where it might you might need like if you're just starting out like get a friend that kind of knows more about it a personal trainer yeah, personal a trainer. coach personal whatever trainer it is like it. you know they can help you achieve those goals and make sure you're doing it in a proper form technique and not hurting yourself so there you go but a little nugget this is a little bit more on on that too is even a little biblical thing what verse is it where he t- where it talks about how training is of some good value, but even more. Physical training is of is of uh, little value, but spiritual um, training is something of utmost importance. I wasn't planning on saying this, that's why I don't. I, I should have looked it up. Anyway, that verse isn't saying that weight training or not weight training, but training, physical exercise training, training, exercise yeah. is bad, and then it's saying it's good. Which it, I think a lot of times I used to think, well, it's good because for physical to look good. Well, no, because of this reason right here. It will it literally make you healthier, mm-hmm. not so you can live longer, so that you can live better. Yeah. Not quality, not quantity of life, but quality of life. Right. Weight training is going to help that absolutely. Yeah. And I always like. I always keep like reminding myself and like maybe a thing of like why a bigger reason of why I exercise and, and want to be healthy and like as I get older you know like and so I always like think of the thought of um, not so being able and capable to serve those around me first but also like just not being a burden to like my family and friends around me like I, I don't want to be yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, Lord willing, like, you know, if something happens, happens, but like, I want to do what I can on my part, take ownership of my life and not be a burden and be like laid up with an, a bad knee or knee injury and like hips or whatever, like anything all because you did. I'm overweight and di- you know, diabetes or whatever, like all because I, did, I was selfish and not wanting to take care of myself and and now it's affecting those around me, you know, my children or friends or family have to take care of me now and I can't even take care of myself. Like, no one wants to be in that spot. Like, I don't want to be in that spot. People around me don't want me to be in that spot. So, take ownership of my life now and just put myself in the best position I can. And, you know, obviously, Lord knows what's in the future. Like anything still happen. It's not saying that no health issues are going to come my way, but do the best that we can do right. to take care of the body yeah. God has given us. So I mean, it's, it's a temple of the Holy Spirit. Like take care of it. You right. Know? Yep. So can't get on the subject a little bit now, but so to bring it back around, it's like, and we're talking more of like people that are older and weight training, but for people that are in their teens or teens, yeah. And, 
you know, twenties, it's like you, you see a lot of a lot of women want to get skinnier, they want to lose weight, and that is great. Because running on the treadmill five hours a day will help, but that's there's way better ways to do that. Yeah. So instead of being scared of those weights and scared of the weight room because there's guys in there grunting it out and getting crazy. You go to Planet Fitness, no grunting there. Go to Planet Fitness, no grunting. It's like, like be bold, Yeah. put in the work, and honestly, like, guarantee you, if you put in the effort and the work in weight training and nutrition, because that's that does, you could do weight training without nutrition, and it's going to be hard to see results. So insert the nutrition there, but like you will get results, and it's proven that your body will burn calories throughout your work day if you do it in the morning. Throughout your work day, it'll continue to burn calories, which is burning your fat instead of just doing running on the treadmill, which is going to burn calories only then. So try it out. Put some weights in that bar. Lift some Load dumbbells. It up. Load it up. Challenge yourself. Lift heavy. Go lift heavy and push those. You know, do yeah, do twenty reps some days. Do some days you want to go heavier and do three to four reps. Yeah. Have a good balance. But change it up. What we're saying is it's a freaking myth that you will get bulky and become a bodybuilder yeah. and look like those people in a magazine just because you're lifting weights. Yeah. False. It's false. You want to lose Keep fat on. and become fit? Lift some weights up. And healthy. Put them down. Strong. Become, a, become strong. Stronger person. Yep. Also, weight training will enhance your um, confidence. Confidence. Because. Just because, <laughs> like, lifting things up, man. Lifting things up, um, just like, <clears throat> it, it lifts, as you lift the bar up and deadlifting, like, it lifts your spirits up. No, okay. <laughs> so actually, okay. Well, lifting weights, as you get stronger, you become more confident. That's just you know that. That's just no thing. Yeah. That's how it works. I haven't talked to anybody that can lift some weights and be like, oh yeah, when I lift these weights, my confidence decreases. It's just sad how much weight I can lift. Kind of disappointing, really. No, that doesn't happen. It's B A to lift some weights. Your confidence boosts. You start losing fat. You feel good about your body. You're getting, you know, you're getting muscle definition. Your confidence is boosting. Mm -hmm. You feel good about yourself. And that's a good thing. Sure. So boost your confidence. And then when you start getting cocky, just smack that right in the lip. Yep. Or I'll smack it. Everyone likes a good smack. You gotta have a buddy bottle. Yeah, buddy bottle. Keep line. To smack you when you need smack. When you're getting a little arrogant, the buddy will let you know. Anyway, that's kind of what we have. Yeah, that was, that that's good. Myth is by, um, weight training will make you a bodybuilder. Yep. That's a myth. Bulky. So go and start weight training into your everyday routine of working out. Yep. Get off that treadmill and weight train. Try something new. Try it. Maybe try a class. Touch. Reach Cross out to it. a coach, trainer, whatever it is. You know, learn some things. Learn the technique, the form. He's a personal trainer. Hit me up if you want some more info. I will won't charge anything and I'll give my opinion. Just literally hit me. If you can see me and hit me, just hit me. If you see this guy at any point, just punch him in the abs without yeah, warning. Just, yep. It's my favorite thing to do. I mean, do it. Yeah. You won't. Anyway. Stop! <laughs> Happy Stop! Friday, Friday. I didn't even flinch. Stop! I'm not even flinching. Oh, did you see that Kobe Bryant video? They they posted. So, quick That's little thing. Kobe Bryant. Uh, it was a week. It's only been a week now. It hasn't even been a week. It hasn't even been a week. Anyway, oh, I'm not gonna get because I don't know if I can talk. Don't about say that. that. Anyway, we love Kobe Bryant and we. But we're mourning with him, with his family. Yeah. He canceled the NBA Terrible game. Accident. Cancel the NBA game. First NBA cancellation since the assassination of John F. Kennedy. John F. Kennedy. But anyway, they sh they, I was watching this video of like a past game, and he was like in this 
the opposing teammate was passing the ball in, in bounds, and they were kind of, like, at each other, kind of the whole game. And, like, he, the opponent, like, faked the ball right at his face, and he didn't, he didn't move a muscle. He didn't even flinch at all. Like, he was just, like, I mean, and like, he, like, the opponent, like, faked it hard. I mean, it was, like, probably an inch from his face. Like, we would have freaked out and probably fell on the ground. And, also, uh, I saw, did you see that one where he was in the middle of the game, and he, like, gives a back high five to his daughter? That was, yeah. that was cool. Yeah, I, I didn't follow him super well, but he was, he was a cool guy. Sad. Super sad. Anyway, that's all we got. Episode 28. Stay tuned for the next couple fitness, health and fitness myths. I can't even say myth. Like myth. You say mist. No, myths. But I you say, say like myth. multiple. Like it's a multiple myth. Like myths. Myth. No, myth. Huh? Myth? You say myth. No, but with an S, because it's like myth. the seven myths. myths. I can't say myth. say it. Did you say myths? Did you stop it? No. Any, any final we love words? you guys. Uh, Peace uh, out until next time. Till next time, stay flexy. Always Get in stay the gym. flexy. Hit the flex weights. On them. Do a little bro flex, bro sesh, tries and buys, and we'll see you next time. Girls with big thighs. Peace. You said girls with big thighs. You said tries and thighs, and I said girl, and girls with big thighs. Yeah.